Today I'm taking a look at another three inspired by fragrances from the Essence Vault that are perfect for the cooler months of the year during spring and especially round about this time of year at the start of autumn. I've got an earthy woody one, I've got a warm spicy one and also a green fruity one to talk about today. So to find out more about these, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today, back by very popular demand, we have another mini Essence Vault haul to review. And all three of these copy fragrances have been requested by subscribers to the channel. And just before we uh, find out what's made it into uh, today's haul, uh, if you do want to pick up any of these three to try out for yourself with a further 20% discount, please feel free to use my uh, unique code at the checkout account by either clicking on the link in the description or by using my unique discount code which is just my name Paul and you'll get yourself 20% off uh, site-wide all year round but at the time of recording this video there is a, another code that will give you uh, a massive 30% discount which is uh, thank you 30 uh, but if that one becomes invalid for any reason uh, my code will remain active all year round do you even do the uh, occasional buy one get one free deal from time to time so they're always uh, good to really uh, like look out for those uh, buy one get one free deals the essence vault fragrances are all uh, vegan friendly and cruelty free and they come with free shipping uh, when you spend over 45 pounds and I just want to start off this video by saying that I am in no way sponsored by the Essence Vault and they're not paying me at all to promote their products so uh, I did pay for all these fragrances with my own money and uh, none were sent to me for free so you can trust that these are, are unbiased opinions and uh, if I don't like any of these three I'll definitely uh, say so. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to talk about today is uh, Essence Vault number 106 and this one's inspired by the original Dior Homme. Not the intense version or the Parfum, uh, which have much more of an iris dominant scent profile. So you'll get more of a powdery, floral, makeup kind of uh, aroma with the other two. But the original has more of a woody and earthy scent character, and it's a touch more bright and crisp. In my opinion, it's also more of a, a masculine smelling scent uh, over the other two, and the combination of patchouli, vetiver and cedar uh, produce a deep woody outdoorsy type scent profile that will definitely paint a picture of walking through like a woodland area on a cool, damp, misty autumn day. This Essence Vault version uh, opens up with lots of lemony citrus and uh, a massive dose of perfumer's alcohol. So like I say in every one of these Essence Vault videos, uh, you must give these around about 15 minutes or so to settle down uh, before you're going to be able to pick up anything that resembles the scent that they're uh, supposed to be inspired by. If you go straight in for a close sniff uh, like you would do with an original fragrance, uh, you'll be very disappointed and all you'll get from these, uh, like in the first 15 minutes, is a nose full of oily nothingness and you'll uh, also probably go nose blind to them. I've actually lost track uh, of the amount of people who have uh, come into my comments section saying that they've had to scrub these off after five minutes and that they don't smell anything like the originals etc. But that's simply because they just haven't let them settle down and allowed the alcohol to evaporate. You will be uh, tempted to spray and go no doubt, I promise you you will spray them and want to go straight in for a, a close sniff uh, but please take my advice and uh, don't do it. But once this finally settles down, the familiar Dior Homme scent DNA does start to make its way through and you'll get some slight freshness from the bergamot and even a, a touch of spiciness from the pink pepper. Uh, but for me, this one is all about the patchouli note uh, and also the cedar. So you will get some like soil like earthiness and also plenty of clean woodiness. There is a light dusting of musk in the background and also a little bit of dry grassy vetiver but yeah this definitely does resemble the original uh, Dior Homme and I'd say it's about 80% uh, accurate to the original uh, but it's maybe not uh, quite as refined and as smoothly blended as the Dior. The performance is decent enough though and you will get a full day's wear out of it with a really strong projection. Um, it's a very versatile scent and you could wear it dressed up in a sharp suit for like a formal event or you could even just wear this uh, casually for like a, an autumnal stroll in the woods. 
Okay, next up we have got Essence Vault number 673, which is uh, inspired by Bleecker Street from Bond number 9. This is a fresh green and airy scent with a natural outdoorsy quality. It opens up very bright and fresh and the first thing you're going to notice with this one is like a wild green accord uh, and it kind of reminds me of like uh, taking a walk in a wild moorland and smelling the bracken. Some people describe the uh, the overall smell of this as being like freshly cut grass uh, but to my nose it's more pungent and fresh than that and for me it's uh, definitely got more of a, a fern like quality. Although I have from time to time picked up uh, on a slight aroma of like when I used to play football and got grass stains on my kit, uh, which probably doesn't sound like the most appealing uh, aroma, but it's actually quite nice and weirdly quite addictive. These, there's also a, a touch of wild blueberry in here, so you might just get the odd uh, slight hint of tart fruitiness amongst all that green stuff. Uh, and these bright top notes run alongside a more earthy base layer containing oak, moss, um, violet leaf and patchouli. Uh, so this only adds to the authentic natural aroma of the great outdoors. The further into the dry down that you get, it does become a touch more clean and somewhat soapy smelling fragrance once the floral notes of jasmine and thyme come through. And the far dry down is made up of like sweeter notes and, and, and also some musky notes, including like amber, vanilla, We've got some suede in there and also some caramel. Uh, but you won't notice any of these until the extreme far dry down. And for the most part, this is dominated by those fresh wild uh, green accords. This is a bit of a love it or hate it kind of fragrance and it's one of those that if you wear it in the wrong situation it could be a bit of a disaster. It's an outdoor scent uh, to wear kind of casually during the day for me uh, and I couldn't really imagine ever reaching for this to go out on an evening or to wear it as a like a clubbing scent. The original of this is going to set you back between £200 and £300 pounds depending on where you buy it from, uh, but this Essence Vault version comes in at a tenth of the price and uh, does a really excellent job at replicating the main overall ar aroma that you get with Bleecker Street. The performance again is really good and probably competes with the original in terms of how long it lingers around on fabrics because the original is not actually a beast mode fragrance anyway. Uh, and this is a, an approach with caution kind of fragrance but if you want something a little bit more unique and uh, a little bit different then this is definitely a, a good one to add to your next order. Yeah and finally we've got Essence Vault number 890. And this one is inspired by Stronger With You by Giorgio Armani. This is a warm, sweet, spicy fragrance with a lovely chestnut note at its core. And this is supported by some wild florals and some cinnamon in the heart with a sweet vanilla base. Again, this is another one that doesn't uh, resemble the original whatsoever for the first 15 minutes or so. And from the first spray, you're going to get a very synthetic, soapy, laundry detergent type aroma. And even I thought, what the hell is going on when I first sprayed this one? Uh, but like always, after that, that 15 minute mark, as if by magic, that stronger with you uh, scent DNA does start to make its way through. And you'll get plenty of the fresh lavender and sage that comes to the surface and it starts out with a, a bright and airy springtime feel to it. It's then joined by the chestnut, the vanilla and a, a sprinkling of cinnamon. So that's when it becomes alive with a, a warm, spicy and almost festive character. This is a, a super versatile fragrance that you can wear day or night, dressed up or casually, and it's just super easy to wear and has a really likeable, mass appealing scent trail uh, that just always pulls in the compliments. If you're a, a regular to the channel, you'll already know that I absolutely love the Stronger With You line, especially the Intensely version. Uh, and as you can see behind me, I've probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I own all of them. Uh, but incidentally, I have just ordered uh, another full bottle of the original because I've gone through about three bottles of the stuff already. Uh, and that's just in the space of a year or two. This isn't uh, an exact replica of the Stronger With You DNA, but it's close enough uh, for you to recognise what it's meant to be. And when you smell it in the air, it's just a really great smelling scent in its own right. The uh, performance again is great and it's a super uh, value pickup for the price that you pay for it and definitely uh, one to put on your next shopping list. Yeah, so just a quick summary, I'd say that the safest blind buys out of these would be the Stronger With You and then the Dior Home. 
The uh, Bleecker Street is a really good copy with a, a decent likeness to the original, uh, but it's just whether you'll enjoy that particular scent profile. However, if you like the idea of smelling like grass stains, then it might be a fun one to pick up, uh, but don't blame me if you uh, don't get along with it. But if uh, none of these sound like fragrances you'd enjoy, uh, then the Essence Vault do keep adding to their ever-growing library. So check out the others, and if you uh, come across any that you really enjoy, don't forget to uh, recommend it to me down in the comments section so that I can uh, talk about them in future episodes. Okay, so that's about it for this Essence Vault episode, but don't forget I'll be back next week with loads more fragrance content, including a couple of new uh, designer releases, some Middle Eastern clones, and another perfume parlor haul, because I haven't done one of those for uh, quite some time now. And as always, if you've got any value from this review, then please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff, uh, and that helps me to bring you uh, some more free content in the future. So until next time, stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye bye for now.